Hello, my dear students. This is Shadil Qassas, Sharjah American International School. Uh, basically, today we are going to talk about one of uh, important and critical tools in your learning, which is utilizing the e-learning resources, especially the the free online resources. As a physics teacher, um, I face lots of challenges concerning um, how to show uh, some concepts that we can't visualize or we can't work in our lab, in them, especially in daily basis. That's why uh, I try to um, surf the net searching for the best online websites, especially that they are free and you can use them anytime, anywhere, at home or at school, whenever you want. One of these important resources that I'm going to talk about um, is the simulations or the simulators, the online simulators that you can find uh, online. Uh, basically, this is my blog, which is sites.google.com uh, slash site slash prof shady. You can uh, go to this website through Google. You can just Google prof shady, uh, and the first result is my blog. Uh, going through the index of uh, my blog, you can find the online simulation labs and by clicking uh, on this page, you can find um, lots of um, examples of online simulation labs that you can use during your study. Um, here, this is um, the, this online simulation can be used by grade 10, especially that they are using uh, they are uh, now studying the two-dimensional motion and the projectile motion as an example. Uh, this can be used for grade 11 uh, because they are now studying the main concepts of Archimedes principle um, that are related to fluids mechanics. And finally, this is one of the wonderful simulators for, uh, uh, for the electricity, elect uh, electromagnetism, and this will be beneficial for grade uh, 10 students. Um, uh, grade 12 students, sorry. This is an example of uh, my students' experiments using the online simulator. And as you can see, this is an experiment that had been done by one of my students. Um, basically, he is um, uh, trying to calculate the range, the height of a projectile using the online simulator. As you can see, this is an example of a, a projectile that is launched horizontally. and. Uh, uh, the student can be sure of the uh, results by calculating them and by um, checking the answer through the calculations themselves. So the student here is trying to calculate the height delta y and by the calculations um, he calculated it with negative 15 and it is uh, basically negative 15 which is calculated by the simulator. This will give you some um, more understanding um, for the concept itself. So let's go to the simulations. Basically, this simulation um, is produced by um, physics uh, e-technology or physics uh, online technology that, that is uh, produced by University of Colorado. So I believe that it is one of the wonderful and um, professional websites that can help you in different fields um, such as um, motion, sound waves, work energy, heat, thermodynamics, uh, uh, quantum mechanics, light, radiation, biology and chemistry as well. Also in math you can find lots of tools and applications so um, I believe that uh, you, le you really have to um, navigate through these options. So the options that I'm going to show you today uh, this is for the projectile motion and as you can see we can change the angle here we're going to experience the an, an object that is launched horizontally so there is no angle and then you fire this is the path that is taken by a projectile that is launched horizontally and you can find these different mm, uh, values and you can use the, um, the equations uh, to prove these values also you can change the angle here and then you fire and this is the projectile motion that is launched at an angle and this is the angle so also you can apply the um, equations that are dealing with a projectile that is launched at an angle and then you can prove that these values are correct. 
for the circuits, um, basically in grade 12, you need to understand the difference between the parallel circuit and the series circuit and what are the different properties and equations that are um, dealing with uh, such equations, uh, such circuits. So this is a, a perfect example of um, a tool that can help you to understand the concept. Um, this is, um, these are some tools, this is a wire, this is um, a resistor, this is a battery, uh, this is a light bulb, a switch, so by using these um, tools you can form your own um, circuit and you can change the length, you can uh, make lots of arrangement for your um, uh, circuit. Here I prepared some circuits for you uh, in order not to waste time. So this is an example of um, a parallel circuit. Let's open it here. And as you can see, these are three resistors that are connected uh, parallel to the voltage source. And um, as you know, that you can check the voltage um, because you know that the parallel circuits, if there are some resistors that they are um, uh, connected uh, parallel so they have the same voltage so you can check this yourself using the uh, voltmeter here this is a 9 volt so you can check this out also you'll find it 9 volt, 9 volt and this is also a 9 volt and this is also a 9 volt so this proves that the parallel resistors they have the same voltage also um, you can use uh, this simulator to show the series circuit and this is an example that I have prepared for you um, this one has three resistors that it's gonna they are connected in a one loop and this is a battery and this is a switch so you can um, close the switch in order to let the electrons to move and also you can check the values of the voltage here and you know that the voltage in a series circuit is not the same because they have the same current but they don't have the same voltage and you can be sure yourself doing your measurements so they have different voltages as you can see I believe that this is a wonderful way to understand the basic concepts uh, of the parallel and series circuits um, also this is a simulation for uh, the relationship between the voltage, current, and resistance. And as you can see, you can change the voltage, and this will show you what is going to go up, which is the current. So the more the voltage, the more the current. And then you can also check the relationship between the voltage and the resistance, and the more the resistance, the less the current. So this is Ohm's law, and this is Ohm's relationship that is linking the three uh, physical quantities. For grade 11 students you can uh, check buoyant, uh, buoyant forces and uh, the fluidity, fluid mechanics concepts by uh, choosing different objects um, and dropping them in uh, a fluid. You can change the type of fluid, you can uh, take um, oil, you can choose water. You can also uh, show the different forces acting on the um, uh, on on the the object, uh, so you can show the uh, the buoyant force. You can show the gravitational forces acting on the object, and also you can choose different objects. Um, here, um, you can measure the weight of the object in the fluid. This is what we call an apparent weight because it is the weight inside the uh, inside the fluid. Also. Um, you can compare this weight in the fluid here in uh, the dry land so you, you will find out that it is more than the fluid uh, weight so you can also compare these values together and to do your calculations that are depending on your understanding to Archimedes principle uh, this, uh, this simulation uh, lab is very important and I believe that uh, Colorado University have done um, a great job here I believe that this will be beneficial for you during your studying uh, I hope that you like the presentations please you can check um, these online 
free simulations through my website um, Prof Shadi you can google it Prof Shadi on Google without spaces so you will find the results and also you will find us on YouTube uh, through our uh, channel on YouTube just uh, type Shadi Al Qassas or Prof Shadi on the YouTube search engine and you will find us thank you and hope that you enjoyed the presentation goodbye